a computer vision project for beginners. This is a tutorial on how to build a parking spot monitor. Watch this. I need to know when these parking spaces are open. I set up a camera outside my bedroom window. See, when my friends come over, they always say there's no parking, but these are the guest parking spaces for this residential community. These parking spaces are always full. Why? Because someone here is being a greedy parking hog. Now look, this person leaves. And then this box goes from red to green, indicating it's open, and an email is sent. I get the email and I start hurrying back home. But just then, I get another email. There are two parking spaces open. We're going to walk through every part of this code. Mostly it's OpenCV, which includes an object detector, and we'll have an emailing service at the end. We'll use OpenCV to open our camera, and in a while loop, we'll keep reading images. We'll also add a snippet where if we press Q, it exits. This is basically the boilerplate of most OpenZV projects. This same code will work with a webcam, a video file, or even an IP camera with an IP address. Great, now that's working. With OpenCV, we can also use its YOLO object detector. In each frame in the video, it'll put a box around each object in the frame. Remember, we're trying to monitor parking spaces, so we need those coordinates for the places we want to monitor. Now we could have the user manually input coordinates, but that makes it very unfriendly for that user. So we can use OpenCV's mouse callback. The user can interact with the screen, and on the back end, we'll be able to keep track of the points of where they're clicking. And the mouse can have different events, like when you press the button down, when you release the button, and when you move your mouse around. And this exact code, don't worry, it's going to be on my GitHub. Here, the object detector is the flickering green box, and this other box is the places that I'm monitoring. Our system needs to know when those boxes overlap. So we can use this calculation called intersection over union. It's also called IOU. And basically, when you do this calculation, if you have a value of zero, that means the two boxes are not overlapping at all. And if you have a value of one, that means the boxes are exactly matching. And anything in between means they're kind of overlapping. Okay, so I have two boxes the monitor box, which is pretty stationary, and this flickering object detector box. When they overlap substantially, then I'm going to mark the box red, which means the space is occupied. When there's no overlap, if I move off to the side, then I'll turn the box green, which means the space is open. And look, we can see the same thing with the cars. When the car moves into the spot, it turns red. Now we have a number of monitored spaces, but remember the end goal is to notify ourselves with something like email. So we have to keep track of the state of each of these spaces. Are they occupied or not? Then whenever there's a change in state, whenever a space has gone from occupied to open, that's when we want to send the email. So we'll put that in our code. Whenever there's a change in state, we'll save an image, which we will send by email later. You can see that here in the terminal, whenever a box goes from green to red or red to green, then it's going to print out something in the terminal. And here's the image that it saved. Then lastly, once we save that image, let's send an email to ourselves. I used AWS simple email service, but there's a lot of alternatives out there. If you want to do it exactly like I did, you need to go into AWS and then set up your email, the sending email through AWS. So do some kind of verification process. And in this case, I also requested to get out of sandbox mode. I made a separate file just to test this emailing functionality so we can just see with some dummy images that the emailing service works. Then we just hook it up to that one place in our code where we save that image after the state changes and we have the whole thing. And this will be on GitHub for you guys to play around. Let's check it out one more time. Now the object detector is working much more cleanly and I redraw all the spaces to monitor. Now look, this person leaves. And then this box goes from red to green, indicating it's open, and an email is sent. I get the email and I start hurrying back home. But just then, I get another email. There are two parking spaces open. So me and my friend, we take both parking spaces, leaving this garage completely empty. 